Welcome back, I'm Mauro and uh, yeah, long time no see. Well, actually I posted two videos yesterday, so yeah, you saw me in the vlog from France. This is a great opportunity to show you what's in my travel backpack. And yeah, I brought it in France and I managed to pack the Sony a7 III with two lenses, the Ronin S and the Mavic Air Fly More combo. We are talking about the Manfrotto Mover 50 camera backpack. In 20 days I am traveling to Portugal, so I will pack again the Manfrotto backpack and get all my gear inside for a 7 day trip. And yeah, half of the time it was actually my wife carrying it with all the gear inside and she told me that it was really comfortable. Well, let's get back. First of all is cabin size ready, so yeah, you will have no problems carrying it on on your flight and have all your gear safe with you. And yeah, tested with Lufthansa, EasyJet and Volatea. The backpack features top and rear axis. And you can actually remove the camera gear padded inside. And have a regular backpack for travel. Let's have a look on my setup. On the top axis port, I place my Sony a7 III with the 16 to 35 f4. By the way, great sharp lens. On the other padded compartment I put my Samyang 35mm f1.4. That yeah, I will do a review later on. On top I just throw the Rode video micro microphone. There is a transparent zipper on the side. Here is the place where I hold my batteries for the Sony a7 III and the Polar Pro ND filters for the Mavic Air. On the bottom rear axis I actually modified the padded dividers to fit my DJI Ronin S and also my DJI Mavic Air Fly More Combo. The Ronin S is actually disassembled, but it's in balance position for my Sony a7 III with the 16 to 35. There is so much room left inside for the DJI Mavic Air and the controller. I put the Mavic Air batteries in a softshell bag on top of it. There is a lot room left on the Ronin side for stuff like charger, cables and more. The side zipper holds a big compartment that will actually fit a 17 inch laptop like my HP Envy. Under it there is a table compartment that I actually use for my passport and documents. On the front side there are two zippers and yeah, the upper one is really deep. On the other side there is a zipper that holds a strap for your tripod and monopod. The backpack features adjustable shoulder straps and connectors. The adjustable waist belt provides added stability and comfort. And yeah, it has a water repellent nylon construction that repels moisture. The backpack also came with a rain cover, so yeah, you are fully protected against moisture and yeah, rain. So yeah, this is how I pack all my gear when I'm traveling and also doing vlogs. If you have any questions regarding this backpack, feel free to comment down below. And also don't forget to check the bell ring icon to get notified every time when I make a new video. Until the next one, have a nice day.